Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux of FluxWithIt.com and today I want to show you how to use the Hydrosynth as a MIDI controller with the scribble strips or macro knobs. So what I've got here is I've got Arteria Pigments, which is a really awesome VST. And what I want to do is I want to control it with the knobs from my uh, Hydrosynth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Macro Assign, select a macro, and you're going to set it to MIDI. Destination is MIDI. And then you can set it to any arbitrary uh, CC number that works with your uh, plugin. And then the depth is going to go to 128. And then you can name that macro. So I've named it cut off. I've gone ahead and done that for each one of these. Now, each one of these is its own. Uh, like I've just named it. And then it's just an arbitrary CC number in there. Right. So uh, let's say these last four down here. I want those to be these macros down here so um obviously these two down here are not matching up uh this one's matching up let's see yep i got that mapped already so uh let's go ahead and call this one pad enabler so we're going to do macro assign and then i'm going to change the name here we'll just call it pad easy enough um, time up here so I will uh, macro assign go here down we'll go to the list names because I know that time is one of the list names hit exit that was pretty quick and easy and then the bottom one is effects macro assign down here go to the list name again and we're gonna go to effects We'll do it like this. And then go to custom and then just change that to an X. Easy, right? So how we map these in each plugin, it's of course going to be different. Arteria does it really easily. So you just click here. Uh, then you click on the knob that you want. Wiggle the knob on your controller and you're done. And click there to get out of it. So what I've got here is uh, my cutoff is here. My resonance is here. Uh, oscillator 1. What do we have that going to? Um, I changed that. Okay, so I'm going to rename that one. Macro assign. Let's change that. So this is actually going to be wave fold. Okay, so there's our wave folding amount. And then wave scanning is our wave table position, which makes sense, right? So we can play it now. And I've got something really interesting going on here, actually. And if you notice, you'll see something else is going on. Notice how the phase distortion is jumping all around? That's because I've mapped my aftertouch, poly aftertouch, doesn't really matter. You can use either one. It depends on the plugin as to whether or not it's going to accept your uh, polyphonic aftertouch or, or monophonic or what. But, so what I've done here is if you go into your mod matrix, you have additional controls that you can do. All your MIDI CCs are available as destinations and sources in the mod matrix. So I have my ribbon is set to MIDI CC5, and my poly aftertouch is set to MIDI CC8, which means that I can now map those inside of here. So I have a phase distortion amount mapped to my polyphonic aftertouch. So as I press a key harder, I can increase or decrease that. And of course I can use that as a modulator. Pretty cool. Now the ribbon, um, 
you could do all sorts of interesting things with that. You could use it to control uh, different knobs in here. You could use it to control pitch. So let's say for the ribbon control, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to map it to, let's say, the volume output here. So you can use that as an additional control source. And of course you can also set up your control voltage uh, coming into the Hydrosynth to be another source as well. This is Flux of FluxWithIt.com and I hope you enjoyed that little tip. Peace.